with so many near misses. History would get a twist in this game. The man with the new hat firing up his troops and firing up Greg Jones, who looked like the best running back on the field. Offensive line of Florida State from the start established itself. You see the big hit there, but uh, time after time, Willis McGee here. Look at this fantastic Not that he's a bad up. running back. He's outstanding, too. A couple of top-shelf guys in Jones and McGahee and Nick Maddox got some business, too, after McGee touched down 30 yards to the house, and we're locked up at 7. Now, field goal made it 10-7. FSU, Chris Ricks didn't throw it a lot. Nice look to Talman Gardner there. Florida State up 17-7. Rick would only complete eight passes. Ken Dorsey rattled a little bit, guys. Wasn't smooth in this football game. Threw in a double coverage a lot. Didn't read the safeties here. Here he throws in the double coverage, and it cost him. It's an interception. Michael Bulwer with a huge interception there. And then Dorsey throwing it right in the ground, having a little conversation afterward. Now, this is what I don't understand. Ball handling by the quarterback. Here's the quarterback that's been the leader of this football team. He didn't do well handling the ball today. 17-14 game, and here comes Big Greg Jones one more time, churning out. He had 189 yards on the day. Jones, again, oh. gashing the vaunted Kane D off the left side is 20-14. to 14. And here comes Jones into the house, and the Seminoles on top 27-14. They opted to kick the extra point there. Of course, Dorsey leads his team back. Kevin Beard for the touchdown, 27-21. Now, they forced FSU to punt. Dorsey to the screen to Willis McGee. He sets up his blockers fantastic. And poor angles by Florida State, but just a great run. You see the speed all the way down. What a great play for Miami. 68 yards. He picks up. Of course, he's a little winded. Let's go to Jason Gatherson, Mark. Just powering the ball right off right tackle up for the score. 11-yard touchdown run. 28-27. Now Miami has to punt. The veteran Freddie Capshaw uh. just about capsizes the Kane's uh. chances with a three-yard punt. Florida State in business. He could go down in history like the wide right guys at Florida State, except on the other side. Here is the last drive for Florida State. Saw Nick, Matt, Nick Maddox running. Now Ricks is going to scramble, slide short of the first down, and then third down play. Ricks, Gardner, first down. Ricks with guys in his mustache again to Gardner. Terrific play by Chris Ricks for another first down. Maddox almost busted this one, but Vilma was there to snuff him out. Then Jones is sworn. Now, this is a key play because Florida State Tick. has no timeout. And Ricks got the thing down. And we flash back to 1991. Jerry Thomas, that was 34, just me. wide right. Oh, you just had a moment. Ed Mallory, wide right, 2 and 92. In 2000, Matt Munyon, excruciatingly wide right. And here is Xavier Bathia for the win. The kick on the way. He missed it. Wide left. A devastating plot twist for Bathia, who this week said, I'm not the kind of guy to choke. Now, I'm not saying he did. He went on to explain that guys just miss sometimes. Yep. There was some extenuating circumstance there, and the young man was crestfallen and heartbroken in tears for more than an hour after the game. And Miami survives. 28 to 27 is the final A. Nice day for Dorsey, under 50%, but big yardage and made the plays when he had to, and certainly grateful to escape the Orange Bowl with his perfect record against the Knowles as a starter in tech. You know what? Uh, my guys did a hell of a job today. I threw two costly interceptions. I'll take responsibility for that. These guys played their heart out, and I'm so proud of them. I can't wait to go celebrate with these guys. I'm so proud right now. Can't hold their quarterback, but so long. You know, he's, he's, just, he's just darn good. We got to him better today than we've ever gotten to him. We had a chance to interceptions. It could have won the game at the end, I thought, you know. And uh, we, they made the plays at the end that we didn't make. And yet, we still, we still could have won the game. I'm, su I'm surprised we didn't win it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sure he is. If you run for as many yards as Florida State did, you would expect to win the game. But this theme has displayed itself over and over and over in one-point games. Miami has won every time against Florida State. They are 7-0 in the games decided between the two by eight points or less. 